Thinking of swapping a BMW M57 into your Toyota or Nissan or anything like that, you've come to the right place. We are swapping this into a 105 series Toyota Land Cruiser. You might be asking, why would anyone want to do that? Well, these are super reliable engines and today we're just doing a little bit of maintenance on it. We've just done the valve springs and seat uh, seals on there and the cams are both timed back up. So now we're just going to do the front timing chain and everything and replace this front sprocket as it's a little bit worn. But we're just doing a couple of little maintenance jobs because these things can push really good horsepower and very reliable. This is the cast iron block. You can also get it in aluminium uh, with the eight speed auto, but we are using the six speed ZF auto with this setup. So if you do want to see a lot more detail, definitely check out the full video linked. Uh, it's going to have a lot more detail in it if you guys are doing this. Otherwise, stick around. First of all, let's whip that sump off so we can get to our bottom chain. According to just about everywhere I've read, this is completely normal to have that nice little bit of slack on that chain. Sumps off so we can loosen our oil pump gear and take it all apart. Got all that removed, let's clean it up and get the new gasket put on. Alrighty, so we've got that all cleaned up and the new gear installed. Now this gear, I do explain in a longer video, it is different, uh, slightly different to the older one. It has a little recess in the back for an O-ring, so it seals against the crank. So you don't get, I'm guessing, any oil ingress out to the front on the harmonic balancer. So that's installed. We'll get the gasket installed and whip it back together. Got the oil pump gear on and torqued up to spec. Uh, we've got the main gear on and we've got the nice gasket on. Fuel pump uh, timing chain is now on and guide rails. We've also got the oil pump squirter and the hydraulic chain tensioner. Now, just the two guides up the top, put that chain on and we can tension that sprocket. First guide is installed so we can still get to the hidden bolt that is down there that most people forget about or don't know that's there to hold this cover on. Uh, so we've tensioned up that to the spec as well. So now we're gonna put the cover on and slot that back up so we can tighten it all up. So the chiming chain cover back in place and all torqued up to spec. We've got a little bit of sealer in each corner there and around there just so we don't run into any leaks. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see more on this, definitely stay tuned. I'll do the next video of timing up the cams to the bottom end of this uh, M57 diesel swap into a 105 series Land Cruiser.